Hello and welcome to Guns and Gear. I'm going to try to make a video here in between the airplanes flying into the airport. I sure picked the wrong neighborhood to, to want to come outside to make videos in, that's for sure. At any rate, I've been getting some stuff together uh, this past weekend here. Uh, I got an upcoming trip up to the mountains that I take every year. Uh, get a couple of weeks to put up a tent and enjoy a little camping and a little hunting, maybe even a little fishing in the streams depending upon the weather. And uh, one of the, I was going through some rifles and making a decision on what I wanted to carry. Uh, apologize for the wind, it's kind of a blustery day today and a little bit chilly. But anyway, uh, into thinking about the rifles, you know, I haven't hunted with my lover actions as much as I would like, and I love my lover action rifles, and I think people may uh, just you know, just really don't think about them that much anymore uh, for a hunting rifle and I really think that's a shame because uh, they offer a lot of advantages over other rifles and uh, not only that, it's just a great piece of history to carry around with you. I'm going to talk to you about two calibers today in the couple of guns that I have sitting over here to the side and they are 35 caliber rounds and uh, you know it's always been my preference uh, to use uh, calibers that offer bigger bullets. Uh, that's just that's just uh, my preference. Uh, you know, there's been a lot of great conversations out there, like uh, 30 alt six versus 270, and uh, the 300 Winchester Magnum versus the 7 millimeter Magnum, and of course 3030 versus the 35 Remington. And this happens to be a uh, Marlin 336 and 35 Remington. I really like that round, especially for hunting in thicker woods. And, <clears throat> you know, I still read that most deer are killed within 100 yards. And even though I love my bean field rifles and I like the idea of being able to take a, you know, an extended length of a shot and things of that nature, when I get up to the mountains here in Virginia or when I'm in the, the thick woods, I really don't have that uh, opportunity to make those shots. Um, most shots do come within that 100 yards that uh, we are told that most rifle, most uh, game is taken. I certainly can uh, attest to that as probably more than 80% of the large game animals that I've shot have been within 100 yards, maybe even a higher percentage than that. Uh, and good old 35 Remington, it's been with us for a long time and it is an effective round. You know, it really puts a game animal down and I like making the bigger hole. Uh, this is a, a compact rifle, easy to tote around into the thick woods, and it is has plenty of accuracy for hunting. And uh, I tell you what, it's, it's just a great choice of rifle, especially if you're going to be moving around and you're going to be in thicker woods where shooting lanes are going to be rather short. Now to take that up a step, show you this rifle right here and this is another Marlin 336 this is the XLR and it has a little bit longer barrel and uh, it's also in 35 Remington you'll notice that it has stainless steel construction laminate wood stocks that are very uh, nice looking and I've topped this with a scope now this is one of the two rifles that I'll be taking up to the mountains with me this year because of the fact that 35 Remington is an excellent round, some of that new ammunition that we have out here, uh, like the Hornaday uh, Lever Re Revolution ammunition, uh, it really extends the effective range of a lot of the stereotypical tubular fed uh, rifles, such as the 35 Remington, the 3030, 4570, 444 Marlin, and so on. And that is because it uses that polymer material to make a spear point uh, bullet. And you don't have the danger of uh, you know, those rounds going off in your tube. So that has really extended the range and makes a 35 Remington in a rifle like this a, a good, honest 200, 250 yard gun. And you know what? I just can't see very many places where I go up in the mountains and hunt that I'm not going to be able to take a shot because the rifle won't be able to re uh, reach it in an effective range. So I got a, short, a small scope on here. It's a 2x5 uh, power Burris. It's a good quality scope. I don't need a lot of magnification. I think people 
uh, especially these days, are using too much magnification. And when that happens, you always leave it up on the high magnification. And when that deer pops up at 75 yards and takes off and you look through your scope, you can't find the deer because you have your magnification too high. That's one thing that I would uh, guard. That's, that's the biggest mistake that I've made anyway. Outstanding rifle, accurate rifle, about a Honestly, it's, it's, it's under a two minute of angle gun. It's about a, an honest uh, inch and a half gun at 100 yards with that level revolution ammunition and this scope atop it. Uh, and I tell you what, I look forward to hunting with it this year. One of my favorite calibers, period, for rifles, for hunting, is the 358 Winchester. And one of my favorite ways to carry that round is in a Browning lever action rifle. I've ha I have had a couple of these. I, this is the newer style uh, Browning BLR, but I also have the older style with the steel uh, frame, and they are just outstanding rifles. This particular rifle in 358 Winchester is very accurate. And uh, man, I, I really came across the nice one when I got this rifle. And the 358 Winchester round is just an absolutely outstanding hunting round uh, for North America, period. And I've used it on whitetail and blacktail. Uh, I've used that round on elk. I've used that round on bear, black bear and brown bear. And it is uh, within its range. It is an outstanding rifle. Now again, the 358 is a regular rifle round, so therefore the lever actions or the lever action, however you want to say it, you had to use a, a uh, magazine. This one has a detachable magazine. And this package right here is just an outstanding hunting package. This will be my number one hunting rifle when I go up to the mountains this year. I often will take this rifle as my backup, maybe to the Saco 308 that I've showed y'all in several uh, videos. But this year, this year it's just going to be two lever action rifles. The scope that I have on here is a Bushnell Elite 4200, and this has a one and a half to six power magnification. Again, that's more than enough for hunting. That's more than enough for the mountains and the shooting lanes that I'm going to have to uh, hunt in. So the ammunition that I'll be using in this rifle, uh, really I only have two types of uh, production ammunition, and that is some from Double Tap which uh, has proven to be really accurate rounds. And of course, the Winchester offering, which is a 200 grain uh, silver tip ammo that they make seasonally, which I think they're making it every other year. Uh, and that ammunition can be kind of tough to, to find. This, this, for whatever reason, this chambering really never caught on. I don't know why. It's a superbly uh, accurate, and it is a superbly effective round on uh, game here in North America. At any rate, that's my video, folks, uh, showing you a few rifles that I really, truly like. I think the lever action is something that people ought to still think about. You know, there's an awful lot of Savage 99s and uh, Winchester Model 88s and uh, Brown and BLRs uh, that are out there that are in uh, everyday hunting calibers that you hear about, 300 Savage and 308 and 30 alt 6 and so forth and so on. They're, they're available and they're out there and uh, I think that they're outstanding choices. Uh, they're compact for the most part and they carry a lot of power, they carry uh, good accuracy and they will uh, serve you well in the hunting woods. All right folks, that's my video. Thank you for watching and remember to shoot straight on the range and in life. Thanks.